And he said he'd got this new band from Andover. He was going to call the Trogs. Uh, but, but he was changing their names because he wanted them to be a bit more kind of like rock and roll-y. So the bass, player, the bass player was called Ronnie Jones or something. He was changing that to Bond after James Bond. So he became Ronnie Bond. Uh, he was, I think he was the drummer actually. Guitar player he was going to call Britain because he thought that was nice and butch, Chris Britton. Uh, the other guy, the bass player, was called Pete Staples. He thought that was okay, so he was going to leave that because it was fairly macho. And the singer he got a bit of a problem with, his name was Reginald Morris Balls. What did he think I ought to do about that, he said. So I said, I'll call him Presley. <laughs> he said, Reg Presley, great. He said, I said, I was joking. He said, no, 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 I like it, Reg Presley. And that's how Reg Presley got his name. <laughs> Reg then read the paper that week and there was an item in that I'd put in there about the new band and the lineup. And he said, oh, I thought you got somebody new in the band. I thought I'd been sacked. <laughs> like, Who's this bloke Presley? <laughs> <laughs> but he's got all these crazed ideas with crop circles and supernatural phenomena and extraterrestrial stuff. And I w He did a show once, Reg, with the Trogs that I went to at the... Salisbury Town Hall and it was the first half of the show was for people who had had some kind of extra terrestrial close encounter and he had this guy came up on stage that he introduced and he said and this is something and he's going to tell you his story about his close encounter and this guy goes and tells us this long story about how he saw a shining light in the sky and this came down and he was abducted into a flying saucer and how he had this, they operated on him and then he was taken to this place and then put back in his car or whatever and then uh, the following day he went to his doctors and told him about this operation that he's had and he showed the doctor the place where they made the incision and there was no scar. Right. I'm, I'm on the floor, hysterical with laughter. Reg is back at the rostrum on the, on the stage saying, I think that took a lot of courage. <laughs> and then the second half is the Trogs, who come on stage and do their normal set. Brilliant! Best show I've ever seen. They should have put it on an extended run. Wonderful stuff. All these complete nutters from their abductee stories and the and the trogs, followed by the trogs doing wild thing. Marvellous. I loved it. Only to be exceeded by my enc close encounter that I had myself at the bar afterwards when this guy tapped me on the shoulder and said, Hello, I'm Dozy. And he was. From Dozy, Biggie, Min and Titch. <laughs> he knocked that song, Wet, 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 Love is All Around, off in about 15 minutes, watching the joy strings. It came from a Joy String song, the Salvation Army Band. Do you remember them? That's where Love Is All Around came from. <laughs>